Hey family, I am back. I am actually back at home. And, um, you know, I did that video for you guys a few minutes ago with Jody, and I was just in the moment, okay? Um, it just be like that sometimes. That's just part of my personality. It's just I can go from zero to 100, <laughs> okay? Wide range. And, uh, you know, her and I, we talk a lot about relationships, relationships with men, um, our relationships, um, you know, with women, and, and, you know, and stuff like that, you know, just... We always talk about that kinds of stuff. And so when she asked me that question, I was like, but wait a minute, you know what? I got my iPad right here. Someone else might have the same question. So, boom, let's just go ahead on and put that on uh, on um, the tube. Um, but anyway, I was just uh, corresponding with this young lady on my Facebook. She sent me a beautiful PM. And uh, her name is Kafina, and she's in Chicago. And... She was just sending me a message on how do she get, like, her mojo back, you know what I mean? How does she, you know, get that oomph, that zest back, if you will, in life. And, you know, I'm asked that a great deal. Um, you guys ask me a lot of questions about my health, about my mental well-being, um, you know, about my house, about so many things, my relationship status. You guys ask me a lot of questions, and some some things I will answer, and some things I, you know, just out of my own privacy, I just, you know, of course, I just can't be answering everything that y'all ask me. But um, as far as my health is concerned, as I was saying before, you know, you cannot compare your beginning to someone else's middle. See, it took me 20 years to get to this place. You know what I'm saying? This total acceptance of Tina, what it is I bring to the table, my whole overall look, um, my size, my everything, my sexuality, you know, my everything. It took me a while to get to this place. I was not always here, okay? And so, um, you know, it, it was a long, 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 long road, but I stuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I just stuck with it, and I was like, you know what? My destination is up. Um, I see no not being in my path. Um, and last year, I just went on this health, whole holistic thing. And I just internalized everything. And I just wanted to get my body and get myself in shape. Um, but um, I will be lying to you and say that I did this all natural because I did not. Okay, I didn't. Um, um, it cost me a lot of money. <laughs> Let me just go and say that it cost me a lot of money to look the way that I look today. Um, it took a lot of time. It look a lot. It took a lot of dedication. It took a lot of. Oh my God! Listen, <laughs> you know. Um, yesterday, I was getting you guys' messages and whatnot about. Um, you know, my video yesterday of me getting dressed, uh, well, me dressed and ready to go to the show. And it's like, um, yesterday was a crazy-ass day for me because I have double-sided tape, okay? I have it. Um, I also have, um, you know, a, a lot of laundry to go through. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot of pieces. and I have a lot of wardrobe. I have a lot of clothes, let me say. And so, um, so Jody was telling me this morning, she was like, well, dog, why you just didn't wear a white bra? Um, you know, and so her and I were going through this whole talk and I was telling her because, you know, I was getting you guys' messages and some people was like, oh, well, that's, that's what Spanx. I did not, I did not have on any Spanx. Let me say that. I did not have on any Spanx. Um, I did have on, of course I had on an undergarment. Of course, um, anytime, in my opinion, anytime, um, let me give you a little hosiery 101, okay, Tina style, okay. Anytime a woman is wearing white, you must wear black undergarments, and then not only that, but you want no panty lines. And that jumpsuit is a size large. The t the the top actually crisscrosses, but it's long strings that whereas you can you know you can adjust it to fit, and it's tie it ties in the front. What I did was I crisscrossed it in the front and I tied it in the back at my waist, and then I put my corset on. That's the way I was wearing it. You guys just didn't see that part. So I was getting pe uh, people saying, "Oh, well, it's three sizes too small," and all that. C cut 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 it out, boo boo. Cut it out, okay? 
cut it out, okay? Um, um, because my waist is up. Now my waist is a 29, okay? So my waist is a 29. My hips are 46. I think I qualify to wear what I had on. So let me just go on and put that out there for the ones that were, you know, because I had to delete some people. And, and see, the thing is, I understand with this, everybody's not, everything is not for everybody and everybody's not going to like everybody's shit. I'm cool with that. I don't even give a fuck about thumbs down because, hey, you know, it is what it is. It comes with the territory. But when you become condescending. You know, you want to take it just a little bit too far. You want to start adding other people in it and all that. I don't have time for foolishness. Okay? If, if, if it's not already evident, Tina got a whole lot going on in her life. And I don't have time for foolishness or bullshit. I would delete your ass, delete your comment, and move on. It is what it is. I'm two times grown, baby. I'm two times grown. I ain't got time for childishness. That shit is for the birds. That Tricks are for kids. You understand me? I ain't got time for that shit. Okay, six minutes, because on my iPad, it go to ten, and I got to do something else. I'm just trying to do this a one-time shop. I'm not trying to go on into some other things. But I just wanted to say that, no, I did not have on any Spanx. Um, I did have on a body garment that I will be, listen, but I ain't going to say where I got it from yet till I go get me about three more than motherfuckers, okay? I got to go get me about three more of them, because that body garment fit me so perfectly like a glove, and it's a size large, extra large. And um, my thing is always, because my legs are my nemesis. You know, every woman got something that's like, you know what, I need to work on this. I need to work on that. I need to work on my midsection. I need to, you know, all those things. And um, my nemesis has always been my legs. I've never had the best of legs, you know. I was always like, you know what, Tam. And see, one thing about surgical stuff, you know, really legs are a real hard task to really work on. And I've already been there, done that on my legs already. So it's like, and at this point in time, my doctor's like, I really don't want to touch your legs anymore. So it's like, okay, so now I just have to work on, you know, work on me here at the house. Um, I, um, so I have a lot of um, equipment that I bought here for my house that I will be doing a lot of holistic type of stuff that I want to show you guys what I do to stay in the shape that I am right now. Right now, I weigh 200 and two okay day before yesterday i had got up to like 204 205 like right at knocking on 205 right and i was like okay here we go because anytime i get to 205 that's when it's like okay oh my god i need to do something anytime i dip below 195 my face begin to just sink in like all this is like just suck in and then people are like, oh, Auntie, you need to eat. Your collarbone is this, this, this. I don't know. Anytime I dip below 195, then people are really questioning my health. And I'm like, okay, so I have to kind of teeter-totter around 200. That's better for me. Now that my waist is below 30, that was what I wanted. Um, so right now my measurements are a 34 triple F. I mean, yeah, tr uh, triple F. I'm so used to saying that. But I'm um, a 34 triple D. My waist is a 29 and my hips are a 46. So, and I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? But it took me a long time to get here. And it's just, it's so, it's, it's something how some people, you know, can just be so mean-spirited. I mean, I didn't do it, boo, boo I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a mother over here trying to handle mine by any means fucking necessary and trying to keep it safe, trying to keep it, uh, you know, um, um, legal you know i don't you know I'm, I'm just trying to keep my shit 100 over here in, in in my little compound and it's like you know there's always somebody try to come in and try to steal your joy or try to you know take some shine off you but baby i'm sprinkled with pixie dust if you didn't know you can't do it baby you cannot do it it's already done i have nothing else to prove baby you better check my stats you better look at me from the beginning and look at me now okay i don't have shit to prove I'm out. We will be talking about some health shit because I am going to show you guys my sauna. Um, I have a vibration platform that I can stand on and vibrate for about 10 or 15 minutes and it will give me um, like a good 30 minutes of cardio. So I only do it a couple times out of the week. So I have that in um, so different little things here that I, that I bought um, for my house for me to stay in shape. I'm going to share it with you guys. You guys look forward to that. It's going to be off the chain. It's all love, baby. I love you. Let me go get showered. I got some shit to do. Bye.